Hey guys, cool bun, we're back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. I'm Calvin. We're back with V Zero. Last time on, we met some new candidates. Had an assembly. Yep. Yes. The royalty. Mm -hmm. I incorrectly identified green hair lady. Okay. What? Yep. What? I said I incorrectly identified green haired lady. Who's green haired lady? I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't. I indirectly. I, I didn't do it right. I don't know. Did you ever get That's the answer? The point. I don't know the answer. You didn't get the answer? No. Oh, okay. Well, Felt. Yeah, <sighs> she's there. She's there. What? What'd you say? Called it. Felt. Oh, Felt. Okay, I didn't hear you the first time. Um. Yeah, she is also there. So who's going to be the the Kui King, the leader? Kui King. Yeah, they could be king. Fancy world, they could be like, "What well, is everybody? Whoever is the leader is the king." There's, sure, I guess. No male candidates, right? There are none. There, um, are, there are only four female candidates that we know of. Well, that we assume they, we don't want to but assume the their gender, cap, just like I assume their identity. The cat person that, is a he that, that we know of. Yeah, you That's cover your face. Yeah. But the cat person is a he. It's true. They said that last time. Mm -hmm. uh, we also had a theory as what if that one guy with the <laughs> sweet outfit is a tra time traveling Barso? Why did I write time traveling? Not really. If he's reliving the same day, I don't know. Oh, that's not so really time traveling, but okay. like time looping. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out what I was saying here. What'd you but say? I think I was just trying to remember who Priscilla was. Yeah. But it just says redhead dash bosom. That's surprisingly tame that's for your exactly notes. That's exactly what I wrote. <laughs> What was the green haired girl's name? So one I didn't write down. Yeah, I didn't write down either. I didn't get like it. Anastasia. We were talking. Yeah. <laughs> we should go back and get that. Wrote Crochet last time. Uh, Crochet. Kirstein. Uh, uh, you were, Eric, you were right there. Was I? You clicked right, right on it. Is it right after this? I don't know which way you went now. Crochet. I was right. I said Crochet Karsten. Crochet. Okay, I had Crochet. So I had, had it written down last episode. Does that count for anything? I did too. Look. Yeah. So okay. we. Okay. So the only one we were missing. We're both right. So during the whole Don't discussion, where I was like, "Who's this person?" You guys are like, "When I well, yeah." When I was like, well, "What's her name?" You're like, no one knows. And like, no one answered. I did. I said, Go "You just Jerry. don't fucking listen." In the intro, mm -hmm. you did not. Check the tape. I will. But I don't, I don't think anyone said what her name was in the intro. Yeah. So, but Anastasia, Anastasia was one we were missing. Yeah. Yeah. The purple hair lady. Um, Certified Julius. I'm the only, I'm I'm so against Subaru. Yeah, so against. Like he's such an idiot. Seems so hard. I know, but he's like I mean episode... he's completely right. I mean he. I, I'm sorry. He's completely wrong. Oh, that's what okay. I mean. I was like, she's completely right. Like no, I, I'm with Amelia. He's like the, the selfish person here. The only time I, I was like really 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 on his side is whenever those. Like, uh, all these knights being like, we're chivalrous, and we care about that, but they're, li they're listening to these guys be like, this filthy half-elf, you know? Like, I, I was the only time I was like, oh, fuck these guys, and fuck your eyebrows, you know? Eyebrows. I, I definitely would be kicked out of that room Why for that. Why are you fucking their but eyebrows? Because their eyebrows are stupid, and I would have at least plucked half of one and made them look even more stupid. That's what I would do. Wouldn't That's make, how angry wouldn't make those guys better? made me. No, no, no. It's gonna, it's, I'm going to make, make it real good. Like, which half? No, like... like like in. Okay. Yeah. I'll make them look real stupid. But, uh, yeah, so fuck those guys. But that's my, you know, male, angry, you know, caveman coming out. Like, she knows what the fuck she's doing, you know? Like, you have to trust her as a person to be able to handle this stuff. Super doesn't doesn't do that. He's got to go defend her, you know? He's a treat like an equal. He puts her up on this giant pedestal. It's ridiculous. He's a fool. I mean... He might still think that he's in, like, a video game. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm not sure what he thinks. I'm not I'm not really certain. Yeah. But there is the whole thing of, like, I don't know. The, the idea of, like, I'm doing all this for you. And it's like, I, I, I do agree with her. It's like, I didn't ask you to do any of this. In fact, I asked you to, to do most of the other thing. Mm -hmm. The opposite of all of it. And you didn't listen to any of it, you know? None. So... Like, he didn't show her any respect by doing any of those things, you know? Sure. Yeah. Like, I understand the video game thing, but, like, doesn't he claim to just love this person, like, so, so much, but also just doesn't trust that 
she knows what she could be doing or sure. what I she mean, asked him well, to do? Well, I mean, you know, it, it it's tough for him because he's had to live through her death how many times? Sure. Yeah, he's had death. more time with her than she's had, right? Well, he's had more time, but also, like, he can see what happens to her. And, yeah. Like, when he's not there to protect her, this happens. Yeah, but yeah. also, she, how many times she's saved him? Like, you talk about that, too. But, I mean, had he not been involved in the the first little arc thing of getting that emblem, mm-hmm. then she would have been she dead. She would have died, yes. You know? yeah. Old Man Ron would have been dead. Felt would have been dead. There have been two of the contenders for the... Yeah. Like, I, I understand that, like, it's frustrating for him because she can't, by definition of what's been happening, can't understand everything they've been through. Sure. I get that. And she told him before, too, like, not to be involved with a lot yeah. of it, too. In various times of those existences yeah. or whatever. Time but I only that justify him saying, like, you owe me. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, wait, what? I feel like the last part was, like, a... It was like a last ditch effort of like the other yeah. things weren't working. I'm going for this one. Sure, you know? I like, get you. Like she didn't believe the how many times you saved me and I I, I owe you this and that whatever. And it's like, yeah. well then whatever we're done. And then he's like, you owe me. Don't leave me. You look at all that I done for you. And I don't know. just this episode was a lot of cringe for me. Yeah. On cringe on his behalf because he just. I do think sometimes he's supposed to be cringy, though, right? Like, that's, oh, yeah, that's the idea I mean, that's, sure. that's exactly I mean, that's... how, you know, this kind of character in this kind of situation is supposed to be. They're supposed to be, like, the outsider that, mm-hmm. that you know, doesn't understand how, you know, the, the court is or how it operates or anything like that. But they, like, bumble through and, you know, they, they do their best kind of thing. But I just hope he's not rewarded for this behavior. Yeah. In the future. <laughs> it's just hard to watch. <laughs> However... Some of the things I do like him in is just, like, his stubbornness and pettiness in terms of dealing with Julius. Yeah. Like, I would be so petty that I would make, as I'm doing that fight, make sure I die so I could live, die, repeat this bitch and win this fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how petty is, I would be. Isn't he worried right now that he wouldn't respawn? That's what he said, yeah. He, right? That's yeah. part of his worry? I know, but that's the length of my pettiness. So you're going to be so petty that you will hope... That you can die and come back so that yeah. you can do it. What, what if you just die died, though? Uh, live, die, repeat. You I, showed him. I have every example that I'm going to come back. No examples I'm not, so I'm just going to do it. Yeah, I know, but what if you don't? But the risk is... Well, the, the, when, isn't there a risk that you die and you yeah. don't come back? Well, yeah. I probably just go but back to my world, anyway, I guess. Because the other guy didn't want to kill him. game turns off. Yeah, you have to make sure you die. That's the. That's the. That's, yeah. that's where the, the true sure. the deep depth of the pettiness comes from. I'm just saying... like with The true depth of the pettiness... But the rules of what we have so far, like, yeah. I would assume if he dies, he comes back, because that's what we've been presented with. Sure. But I, without knowing it... Yeah, I understand. You know, also, there's, that, there's, like, that scary factor of, like, well, what if I die and I don't come back? That's how risk? petty I am. Like, where's the reset point now, I wonder? Yeah. Is don't know one? where the reset point is. Don't know whenever, like, is it, uh, you know, does the game turn off and he goes back to the real world, you know? Is it a well, game? Does he just die? I feel like the fact that he still can't say it... And the Witch of Envy, like, attacks his heart. Yeah. means it's still active. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, I feel like that's a good way to test it. Me. To also, I just be. wonder how many... Uh, I know this guy, these knights are incredibly, incredibly strong. How many times do I have to die and come back to win that fight? <laughs> you know? It's like, all right, I know he's going to start out with this opening move. I know he's going to go here. If I do this, if I do this, he's going to go here. i got to find a way to win. <laughs> I'll spend 10,000 years fighting this fight. <laughs> <laughs> But so, by then, he'd be a good knight, right? So yeah. now you get to the point where he's like, they start fighting with wooden swords, and he upgrades you guys to metal swords. And I don't know. I, 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 I would want to win with the wooden sword, but I, again, I don't know how I'd do it. Just that, like, in that, in that moment of this motherfucker and his, you know, his, I don't know. I guess got really petty. I, I, I empathize with him at that point. It's like, yeah, do something. And then I was like, wait, man, you got your uh, nerf magic you can use. But it didn't do anything. Nerf magic. I thought he was going to win it like go. Yeah, it, it nerfs him. He's just... debuffs. Oh, yeah. not like, like. Yeah. No, not no. like nerf darts. No, like, like... nerf. Yeah. <laughs> that is nerf. Yeah, but I figure you know what I'm talking about. Words You're can mean gamer. more than one thing. You know things like, oh, this got nerfed. This got buffed. Sure, but he was talking about swords. That's nerf, nerf magic. Swords. I mean, nerf swords are a thing, too. Exactly, they are. Mm-hmm. You just, I just assume your intelligence was high enough to catch it. 
kidding. <laughs> I can kill someone with a Nerf sword. Mm, yeah. Stuff it down the throat. We've been talking about Nerf herders. Nerf herders, oh, yes. Uh, there are uh, on Edo, uh, the planet where the Imperial Kyber refinery is. That's not even a real place. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dude, man. Why did Old Man Rom run in to take Felt? Was it just to try to get Felt out of there? Well, or yeah, I was don't think it, anyone ever told him. Or was it a trick to get her to be like, okay, I'll be in the thing? I think it's a way to get the, fu- get the fuck out of this place. Like, they didn't even tell Felt what was going on. So no, I know. probably assumed that she's just in jail. But she, like, assumed the knight had a scheme, you know, for it all. Yeah. And I was just like, is this, like, a trick? Like, Old Man Rom at one point had a, uh, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like <laughs> yeah, right? And it felt yeah. kind of more like she's falling for the trap. Not like, I'm sorry, you know? Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, if they're going to kill me. I didn't mean to. <laughs> like, I don't know. Just something about it felt like, what was the what yeah. was the initial goal? I think he just wanted to get her out of there. He just was ignorant of what was going on. And I think that was just kind of like a, you know, it's you and me, you know, against this fucking, these, these classes fucks. So why do you, why do you laugh? What was that for? Like he accepted a, death. Yeah. But it wasn't like, ha ha! But he laughed at her. <laughs> yeah. She was like, oh, uh, uh, and he's like, mm-hmm. he's like, no, he has no, you know, relation to anyone royal. We shouldn't respect him. He <laughs> broke into the capital. We're going to kill him. Mm-hmm. And he was like, <laughs> it just felt uh, like an edge of sinister. I don't know. I mean, it's possible that him and, uh, what's his name? The knight. The knight, like. Reinhardt? Reinhardt. Orchestrated a plan to get her to do this. He, he said, "Like it's been a month." He did. It has been a month. He said yeah. it was the, the it was fate itself. Is what he said. Yeah. So I don't know. It just felt weird. Being chivalrous and all, I would expect him to always tell the truth. I don't know if she. So. I don't know if she'd be a good priestess, queen, king. And she's gonna destroy everything. Well, yeah, she's. It's about what's anarchy. She's well, going to get rid of well, this classist system. Unless, well, I mean, if that's I mean, the that's idea. that's not necessarily anarchy. <laughs> well, that's what Amelia Anarchy is the lack of structure. She's going to break it all down. If the idea is... going to change the structure. If the idea is changing it all from what it is, because she doesn't agree with it, but she also very much felt like, I'm going to destroy and kill everything. <laughs> like, I don't know. Just she, she's going to destroy... The, yeah, she didn't tell you, say anything about building it back up. No. She said, I'm going to burn I'm this motherfucker destroy this kingdom. Down. Yeah. It didn't feel like we're gonna take, give it to this and rebuild in a better mm-hmm. fashion, you know, for the poor or nothing. Yeah. It was like, I'm gonna destroy it all. And, all right. And then the knight's like, mm-hmm, she's very uh, spoken. I don't know what he said. You know, like, spoken. I don't, she's I, I, I don't, very I don't, spoken. I don't know what the words were. Yeah, whatever words he said. Like, I mean, they kept calling her gutter rat. Fucking guys, our fucking eyebrows. Yeah. Everybody that is shitty has bad eyebrows in this show. Except for old man Rom. He has bad eyebrows, but he's not shitty. Bad eyebrows? He yeah. braids them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Don't you everyone who braid your is eyebrows? shitty has bad eyebrows. Not everyone who has bad eyebrows is shitty. Why are they bad eyebrows? He can braid his eyebrows. Isn't that cool? Don't no. you wish you could braid your eyebrows? I don't. No. They'd be poking me in the eye and shit. No, that's why you braid them. That way they hang down here. No, they not... One would swing over and poke the other eye. Yeah, they, they flop. Yeah, they flop. And if I was like, like in a fight and it went to the ground, they would grab it. Yeah, but you could just go like this. Yeah, and then I'd like, pull my they, arm right They just whack him in the face. I wouldn't whack him in the face. Maybe they have like little tiny like they have beads spurs on, on them or something. Yeah, put some spurs on But that would get in my face. Just, yeah, More often than there. You don't know want to... No! And then it holds your ears full. Yeah, I feel like what you're doing is the definition of bad eyebrows. <laughs> no, it's great. They're cool. My eyebrows don't attack my face. I mean, don't be wrong. I barely have eyebrows. I'm jealous is what I'm, what's really happening. Like, give up some of those eyebrows, my guys. Jesus. That's why you want to pluck half of them so that you can add them to yours <laughs> and make them visible. But yeah, when those guys are going on about gutter rats and <laughs> half-elf trash and gutter stuff rat. like that, I mean, yeah. I'm all on his side where it's like, you know, I mean, he just he stopped it just yelling. Like, I would have thrown something. Thrown what? A shoe? The whole place was empty. Why would you, you throw a shoe? Then you don't have a shoe. Now you're short of shoe. And then Rick comes and steals it. Now you ain't got no shoe. Depending on what foot you put most of your weight on, it changes your height. I'll throw both shoes. I like the knight's reaction better, where yeah. they just all in unison. Ha! Yeah. Would like, you guys practice that? <laughs> of course we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> For this occasion, of course. Sure. I, I don't agree with his, uh, you know, diminishing of what those, I mean, you know, I don't know if it's the knights were born into, he said, like, you were born into this. I mean, I know that they're probably noble. Well, they have, But like, they've earned names. that, you have to be knighted, yeah. you know? 
Like, they don't just knight you when you're born. Like, it's after, you know, those guys are trained for that shit. So, he went too far there. Squires and whatnot. Yeah. If they do that in this world, what if they don't? In this uh, world, they do something else with knights. I'm going to make a fair assumption. And in some cases, you can just pass it along. Can you? I feel like we're assuming a lot of this shit. It seems stupid. Shouldn't do that. But I call it you just out. ignored entire. And then I would live, die, repeat hierarchy. myself until I was right. That's how petty I am. That's how petty I am. You can't, just, make, petty you can't <laughs> just make that your answer. <laughs> yes, I had the whole point. I'm gonna live, die, repeat everything that's wrong. <laughs> if you could do that, so I live a perfect life. <laughs> yeah, right. You would have the experience of having a shitty life uh-huh. where bad things happen, yeah. and also the experience of having a great life. Yeah. I guess it's it's like the the thing like no if if you know if I could go back and change anything about myself I wouldn't because then I wouldn't be the person I am today you would be both of those people. Mm-hmm. I mean the hardest thing is not being able to relate it to anyone else and having experiences that they don't remember. Yeah, like that's the killer. I feel like yeah because I I feel like if Melia knew what he had gone through she would understand him a little bit better, but. By the nature of the show, she can't. By no, the I, I get of, you. Of the, the curse that's on him, she can't. Yeah. No. So she, he should try to meet her halfway, and it doesn't seem like. Yeah, he should. No, he doesn't. He's trying. He puts her on a pedestal so fucking far that she inevitably is going to fall off and get hurt because the wave's done. You know. Yeah. But society's trying to put her on that pedestal, Eric. True. Society. Yeah. But she doesn't want to be put on that pedestal. She wants to be on the level as everyone else. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Saying, like, her like, thing is... A, yeah. I mean, at the end, where she's like, you know, all I wanted was just one person like you to treat me like everyone else. Yeah. Well, and she says she's running... Or running, but she's entering <laughs> yeah, into this... campaign is... She's <laughs> entering into this with the idea that everything's going to come about... Be about equality. Yeah. Right? Everyone will be equal in her kingdom. Do you think there's any chance that she is the Witch of Envy? Is she just uh, minus... 10% chance. Only... 50% because she's half. I mean, what if the Witch of Envy has just been talked up as being the bad guy because mm-hmm. the people in power write history? Yeah. And they're like, no, we don't want this to be a democracy. We want, we want it to be a, a, a monarchy where one person has all the power and that's going to be me. Yeah. You know? Those, those old fucking guys up on stage. Right. Yeah. Hey, fucking old guys. <laughs> Fuck those guys. They're, they're fucking... probably the guys that told the lie that the Witch of Envy is back. And their eyebrows. But, she talked shit about that around. But we have this stuff with like Witch of Envy and the dogs, and the dogs yeah. didn't necessarily seem like they were the good guys of the story, yeah. you know? Like, <laughs> no, but they also Dogs are loyal like were, and do what they're told. Yeah, they also sure, seemed like but... they were a force of nature that yeah. was attracted to magic. Yeah. What about the other girl who seemed to be like on the Envy Witch side, which was that... Girl from like the first five episodes. I mean, we just titties. we assumed that, that she was on the Witch of Envy side, name? but we never really got confirmation. I don't know. Elsa. I just feel like these guys being the old guys from Trading Spaces and yeah. being like, "I'll bet you a dollar," you know, like <laughs> oh, gotcha maybe, <laughs> there you go. You maybe know, like, Miss Elsa is like, an assassin sh- hired that's... by the the eyebrow guys to take out the the reasonable competition to this no i don't think so hey i uh, encourage tinfoil theories yeah. just the, the, the dogs are just so I evil mean, that if they're from there then they're just they, they're on another level than waldorf and his buddy what they're just hungry i mean animals aren't evil because they're hungry aaron yeah, but a little, tornado isn't evil because it blows that little dog like infiltrated also they thing. specifically went after children was, yeah yeah you're right he ate yeah because they were easy prey guys. I guess. Yeah, Maybe. but... It, a, a predator will go after yeah. the weak The lion isn't prey. evil because it goes after the baby antelope. Yeah. It can handle the not-weak prey easily. Yeah, but it didn't <laughs> seem like it was going after the adult antelope, only the babies. It wasn't yeah. going after the old people. Yeah, get the old They're people. easy. Eat, the, uh, 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 eat them up. It didn't need to. It, it got the children. It was having its feast. The children are not that much it's food. old meat. They have Everyone's just as much me. life in them as oh, adults, me. sometimes more. Are they just sucking the lives out of children? Right. Yeah, so they were sucking the man out of them. Percentage that she is the Witch of Envy or affiliated with or the daughter of, mine's 5%. I went down 5. I was at 10, now I'm at 5. Mine's zero. She's not the Witch of Envy. 2%. All right. Calvin, what's your percent? 89. <laughs> no, if anything, it'd be 69. Yeah, exactly. Nice. But, no, I'm going to say, like, 
20... <sighs> Two and a half. This being your main argument, I don't feel like your percentage is very high. I'm just saying, tinfoil hat, it could be. Okay. It's ten times as high as mine. Yeah, I guess. Rick, you're at 2%. Yeah. It's I'm at 5%. And Aaron, you're at 0%. Like 0%. 0%. 11 you're and not really time. leaving a lot of wiggle room, are you? No. <laughs> like, I'm not even 100% sure that, like, I exist. <laughs> I'm not sure we're saying Subaru right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Subaru. All right, well, I'm going to keep track of that. Um, percentage witchy. Is that either right or I'm wrong? On this yeah, you are right. And yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, 1%, just yeah. to be safe. At this point, you might as well say 50%. <laughs> yeah, it's right. One way or the other. Doesn't matter. All right, um, well, uh, we'll see about that. Uh, you know, this style of anime, what's it called? Rick, do you know? It starts with an E. Um, Erotic. No, no, no but close. I call it Magic Door. Ecchi, 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 Ecchi. But that's not what it's actually called. Oh, no. it, uh, it starts with an I. An I? Okay. An I? Well, like, just, you know. I feel it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's not really my style of anime, but I like how invested it makes me and how. I like how angry he can make me, you know? Sure. It's like, well, I mean, he is supposed to be a stupid teenager that is treating this like a video game and not like real people, you yeah. know? And now he, like but he's in love with this girl, and he's, I mean, that's exactly what teenagers do, you know? Yeah. They, sure. they, they make these mistakes, and hopefully you grow up into an adult that realizes, man, that was just real bad what I did, so hopefully I hope he gets he better. looks back at this and cringes so hard that he can't sleep for like three nights a night. Oh, <gasps> uh, yeah. Do you ever like sleep at night and think about something you did cringy when you were like 15 or six, or like, like a teenager? Like, what the fuck was I thinking? Yeah. That's how I feel about him. Yeah. Um, now, you know what I'm thinking about that? No. He's always perfect. Probably. Just like your 0% chance Probably, yeah, that right? something Not could good. happen. Yeah, like, I just think that's what I'm going with. All right. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of ReZero with us. This is episode 13. You can get up to episode... Next four. I can't do math. 13 plus four is... Two, seven, seven. 248. One... 69. We have to have an advocate somewhere, right?